I see you, you go home. You go home a lot. Yeah. yeah. I fell in love with Ghana all over again, man. You know, I mean, what probably did it, you know, with all, especially with the whole thing that went down with Joy Floyd, all that stuff that went down. It made me feel like, you know, I mean, maybe Africa is where we really, is where I need to put my concentration on. Because at one point I felt like, you know, was America really for black people? Right. I felt that way at one time, you know, but it was emotional with everything that was going on, you know, and I sat and I thought about everything, you know, and I was like, you know, let me get a home at home just in case right. I need to run away. So I got a home there. I go home every other month. Well, I, I, but I, the I, most important thing I'm doing at home is I'm building a school. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. You can find all the fucked up shit and you can find one Well, I'll tell you what I, what I did. <laughs> oh, hello. You got a home in Delaware. You got a home in Philly. You got a home in Ghana. I'm all about right. to start telling jokes. I'm about to, give me a, I'm about to start telling me some jokes. Y'all, I ain't got but one home. You got three. So? You hating? I'm building a school in Ghana. Did you know that? I'm giving back. I'm building a school in the village. Now, one thing about Ghana yeah. on most of Africa, you know, we have like government schools, which is considered public schools, and right. they have private schools. Right. Government schools are the ones supposed to be free, but it's still got a few expenses here and there. Right. You know, those fill up fast or they're overcrowded with kids. Right. And then if you don't get any time and you can't afford to go to school, guess what happened? You don't go to school. Right. You just hang around the marketplace, help your mother, Whatever. Right. So I said to myself, you know, you gonna set I, up a school. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build, get a private school and let all the kids get a scholarship. How many, how many, how many students will be allowed to go to your school? Two hundred. I'm looking. It's, it's gonna be equivalent to like first to ninth grade. They recently made tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade free. Okay. So I'm like, let me go to the one that's not free. Right. Which is first to ninth, and maybe twenty five kids per class. Right. And then let them all get a scholarship. You know, where I'll be, I'll be pretty much paying for this out of my pocket. I'll that's be, amazing. Yeah. You'll be blessed for that. Did you, did, you, did you always want to do that? What made no. you decide to say, you know what, I want to build a school? This is why I did it. So when I came to the States, I didn't get to go back to Africa till about um, I mean, 15 years later. Wow. I went 15 years without right. seeing my brothers and sisters. Okay. You know, because it was, people don't understand, you know, this, this thing is easy. Right. Especially coming from a, a black continent to come to America is the hardest place to get a visa to. Yeah. I'm at one point, I finally made some money after doing next Friday. I bought all my brothers and them plane tickets to come to America. They went to go get a visa and they got denied. You get denied 90% of the time. Jamaicans get, you know, any, when you're coming from a black country, right. Europeans don't need visa to come here. Right. You know, when you're coming from a black country, you have to prove that you're going to take your ass to help back. They you're have to back. know that you're going to go back. So how they know that? You gotta like, if you're married, your wife gotta be there, you gotta have kids, you have, you have to show you have money in that bank. You have a reason to go back. Right. You know, but you can't prove all of those, you get denied. So it took me 15 years to go back because of course I, I had stuff from nothing, I had no money. I had, you know, once I was able to make right. some money, I said, let me go and see my people. Right. So I went back and then- um, That had to be a big change. In 15 years, was, people change, oh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of change in 15 days. There's I, a lot of change in well, a year, 15 years. At that moment where I went to in my, you know, my little town or, or close, it's a town, it's not quite a village. Right. It's close, it's look villagey enough. And I remember being at this place as a, as a little kid, mm -hmm. you know, when I was like three years old, I remember being there, I remember three years old. And when I went back, I actually went back there at eight years old again, but when I went back 25, 15 years later, it looked the same wow. to me. Uh -huh. You know, then I remember going to the marketplace to buy stuff, and I'm like, I see kids in the marketplace during school hours. So I'm like, I'm like, why are these kids not in school? Right. Then I found out that the, the government schools fills up, right. they can't afford to go to school, so they're just out here helping their mothers sell Shrink fruit or whatever they're veggies. doing. So I'm like, okay, so I went to the, the nearest school, the local school at that time. This was, in, this was the year 2001. I just did the movie next Friday. Right. So I went to the local school. I'm like, you know, what did it cost to go to school? And I found out it was, at that time, it was about $80 a year for a kid to go to school. I'm like, we spent that shit at the bar. Right. You know, so I remember going back and like grabbing like four kids, talking to their parents. I'm like, you know, let me pay for that school for the next whatever amount of year. It wasn't much. $2,500, whatever it was, right. cost me. And I paid for them to go to school. And I'm like, then I, then I started thinking about, I need to do something about this. Yeah. You know, I can't go pay for every, every kid who's going to school. Maybe one day I would build my own school. 
And when I got to the point where I was able to do it, which is now, decided to make it happen. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.